Hey team, I am Ranroth, and this video is going to be on the next formation in the Yeovil series. We're going back to a formation that I use a lot in FIFA 13 and ran Riot with. This is the 5-2-3. I call it the counter wall because it's based on a rock solid defense and then you hit with pace up front on the counter attack. Let's get into it and see what we've got. The basics of it is you've got five in the back. You don't have too much wing play going on as these outside attackers are going to be cutting in and going at goal. Good to have a good strong striker up front, but if you can find one that's strong and quick, that works best. You need two center midfielders or more on your squad that have high stamina because they do a lot of running. They're the workhorses of this formation. Also are your wing backs, since that's where any crosses are going to be coming in. Uh, that's where they're going to need a lot of stamina as well and some pace helps as well. And then three center backs just keep everything tight at the back. This particular formation, the way I've got this one lined up, Sawunni and Arthur Wari are both big, strong aerial threats. Sokolix a little bit less on the strength and jumping, but he's a bit quicker, so he's going to act more as a sweeper. You can do it this way, or you could switch it and have just one strong aerial winner in the middle and then two quicker guys on the left center and right center to deal with quicker forwards. You can change it around based on which team you're playing. The team tactics for this formation are a bit simpler. I haven't done any customs. I've left that one alone for my other formation. But the counterattack one will be the most useful. So let's take a quick look at the details of this one. It's all about speed of buildup. So that one's at 95 by default. Um, everything else is balanced, the passing, crossing and shooting, you just take shots where you can get them, find the space as your opponents commit too many men forward and leave gaps. This is the default counterattack setup. The one thing I would change is that in chance creation, I would probably change the positioning to free form so that if there's space and a guy needs to run out of position to get into it and create a chance, that's fine. But, you know, leaving it as organized means you're always going to have one guy in the middle one guy on the left, one on the right, and then your two center midfielders will fill in where the gaps are. And for defense, it's all about sitting back, inviting pressure so that there's gaps to hit when you do win the ball back. The individual player instructions for this formation, the left winger, let's get a quick look. Basic defense, you want them to come back and help sometimes, but they'll be part of your counterattacking force, and having five defenders and two midfielders should be enough to block most attacks. So you can normally leave him up unless the wingbacks of the, your opponents come up to help the attack. They'll come back and cover that. You want them to cut inside. You want a lot of pace. So as soon as you send the ball out, you want them to go directly at goal. Getting behind is another thing that's going to help that. And then the support on crosses and interceptions are going to be at default. You'll use these same settings for your right winger as well. The center striker, you want him to stay in the middle. He's going to be an aerial threat. If you've got some pace for him, that's great but you want them to be able to win the long balls and crosses if it does come to that. So everything for him is going to be default except the stay central and basic defense support as well. Your two central midfielders, you can do whatever you'd like with them um, based on whether you want to go a little bit more attacking. But I have this right-sided midfielder. He's always the one I like to go more attacking, so I've told him to get forward. I've told both of them to stay on the edge of the box for crosses so that they can pick up the loose balls if it if it pops out, and normal interceptions, and they're going to stay in their positions. The only change to the left-sided one is that he has bit balanced attack. I'm not going to have him stay back because five defenders is more than enough to deal with a counterattack if they use it on you. So he can get up, just not always. He'll, he'll probably sit in the midfield area and win the longer clears if it doesn't go all the way back to your defense. For your wing backs, you always want them to overlap. That's where any crossing is going to come from. You've got your two attacking wingers going to be cutting in, so that's going to leave some space on the wings for them to get into and try and swing some crosses or provide an outside outlet if you do need to turn back a little bit. The three center backs, again, are your choice and how, how good you feel about a match. For basics, I'm going to have Arthur joining the attack. He's a good passer, and this left-sided attack. You can switch it left or right, whichever you prefer. I'm going to have one of my center backs join the attack if the buildup would 
benefit from that. I have the center one playing as a striker, but that only takes place if you're losing a game at the end, having another option for crosses to aim for. And a center back will normally be good in the air. And then I always have one that's always going to stay back. So normally there's going to be three back there. If you're in a situation where you're late in the game and losing, one of them will go up and play as a striker, and another will go join the attack um, if the opportunity presents itself. You can all, you could tell them to all stay back if you're you feel like you've got the game won and you don't want them taking any risks, or you could send all of them to play as a striker. That would probably leave you exposed if it was that situation late in the game, or you can send both of the outside ones to join the attack. Whatever you feel works for your tactic. This is the way I prefer it. You can make your own decisions on that. Thanks for watching. I'm Ben Ranroth, and let me know what you think of this 5-2-3 counter-attack formation. Let me know if there's another formation you want me to do an in-depth tutorial on, and I will see you guys in the next video.